Okay, I'm going to show a super useful new uh, add-in for Genially from Scape, which allows you to add bookmarks to your Genially presentation, which is great if you're making an activity or a game that's too long to be played in one session. So students or players can put a bookmark in and then find their page again, uh, which is especially useful if there isn't a forward button, but they have to go through the task to get to the later pages. Okay, so I show first how it, uh, what it looks like. Um, so here are just my pages, page one, page two. So let's say I get to page two and I want a bookmark on there. Now I go back home and this, this new link has appeared, which says go to bookmark. So this only appears after you've actually created a bookmark. And now I can click on there and it will take me straight to page two. Let's say I will now want my bookmark on page three. I go on there. If I go home, click on my bookmark, it should take me straight to page three. I can also um, delete it again. So if I put in a bookmark and I want to get rid of it, just click the uh, delete button and it's gone again. So how you make it is really easy. You just need these few boxes here. So um, I'm going to create one so you can see how it works. So for the very first page, we just need this yellow box here, which is the one that will say go to bookmark. So uh, instead of that French word here, I can ungroup it and say go to bookmark. Here we go. And then I just need to make sure that I group this again. So this will not appear until I've actually used the bookmark. Then I will take the bookmark and all these other boxes. So let's take them all together and put them on each of my pages where I want the option to have a bookmark. So let's say I want this in a corner. I can also make it a bit smaller if I want. These two black boxes, <coughs> I don't really need them. Well, they need to be on the page, but you don't need to do anything with them and they will be invisible. Just put them to the side somewhere and ignore them. And then this is my bookmark button and my delete button. So I do the same um, on the next page as well. Let's put this here as well. So the bookmark. There we go. So hopefully this will work now that if I look at this, <coughs> Um, I put in my bookmark and then when I go back it will say go to bookmark and then I can click on it and it will take me straight to that page. Okay, so it's, it's done it. Um, at the moment this is in French so if I don't want this and I want a different text on it or a different symbol, <coughs> unfortunately you can't uh, change this box itself but you can just put a different box on top of it. So I could just have this on here. Uh, then put some text on it. So bookmark. And then I just uh, group the whole thing together. So make sure that you group it with the original bookmark button. Um, and now it should still work. If I click on it, yes, it's done the bookmark there. <coughs> and I can delete again. You don't need to have the delete button. So you can just leave this off because whenever you create a new bookmark on a different page it overrides the original bookmark anyway so you can always just have one bookmark per presentation it is important to note that the bookmark will only work on the same computer and in the same browser so i think it creates a cookie in the background um, so it will still work after you turn the computer off and on again so the next day but it needs to sync be the same device.